Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrina's and today we are going to be doing this really cute tribal makeup look. So I'm starting off with that brow pencil. And the brow pencil that I'm using right here is called the Ardell Brow Liberty and the color that I'm using is dark brown. And so I'm going to fill in my brows there. The next thing I'm doing is taking my Colab No Flaws Cream Concealer and cleaning up under my brows. The color that I'm using here is Tawny slash Mocha, which is 090, I mean, sorry, 0910. Next, I'm taking the No Flaws Liquid Concealer in the color Mocha and using that on a spoolie to kind of give the bleached eyebrow effect. I know you guys are probably thinking, why did she fill in her eyebrows just to cover them up? And it's because I did that to the other side. I ended up not liking how the darker brows looked and I wanted the overall look to be cohesive, so I just did it to the other side, if that makes sense. Next, I'm taking my Colab Meet Your Matte Foundation, and this is in the shade, I took off the shade, I think this is a mocha. And it is a tiny, tiny bit darker than my skin tone, but I'm gonna be using a lighter concealer just to even everything out in a second. And it's the same concealer that I'm using underneath my eyebrows. So it's the No Falls Concealer in Tawny Mocha. And then I'm gonna do the basic highlighting routine and after I've blended that out, After I've blended that out, I go ahead with my Colab setting powder. Set the stage ultra fine loose setting powder, and this is in almond slash caramel, which is 0708. And I chose this because I wanted a highlighted under eye look, so I just used a lighter powder for underneath my eye. And then while I let that bake for a little bit, I went ahead and started off with my eyes. I went in with the Palladio Immortal Kajal. I don't know how to say that, don't laugh at me. Immortal Kajal um, Purity Lasting Cream Eyeliner. And I'm using this as a uh, primer slash base and it worked really well for that. And I'm also using this Ardell Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm starting off with that orangey brown that's in the corner there. And then next I'm taking that darker brown. I will also be using that as a contour powder because I thought that that color looked really good. Um, it was super dark, so I was like, okay, I need this as a contour powder as well because I just liked how it looked. It was really cute, chocolatey brown. And I'm using that in my inner corner, outer corner to give a halo effect. And then I'm going in with that really pretty gold color. I'm using that right in the center there where the white is. The eyeliner is from Femme Couture, it's their Get Lines Precise Liner and this is in the color Pure White. A tip that I've learned from using this is to let it collect a little bit at the tip, like press it against your hand if you need to, usually that gives the best color payoff. And then go ahead with the um, Palladio eyeliner as well and maybe go over top of it if you want it to be a little more white, um, but that's what I did. And then I'm taking the dark brown that I used earlier in my crease and then using that underneath the white eyeliner. Next, I'm taking the same eyeliner and using that to kind of underline my eyebrow. And 
and then you'll see me here adding on that really dark brown shadow to use as a contour powder and it looks really good like this I, I was I was a big fan I'm using my collab the filter highlighting powder and glow insane so this is the shadow stick from Ardell. It's called the Irresistible Shadow Stick and it's in the color Because It Hurts. I'm using that as a lipstick and then I'm using that gold color that I used on my lid right in the middle of it just to give it some dimension, I guess. I just thought it looked cool so I did that. You can see I also added in some stripes in the, on my nose um, in the same white liner. And then I went in with my Kajal one more time and did a line right down the middle. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is what the finished look looks like. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with your friends. I thought this was pretty simple. Um, all the products you can find at Sally's, so be sure to check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.